now our great pleasure to have you all here today and our chairman is now walking into, into the ring with our judge for the toy group, Ray Parry. And without further ado, let's have our best of breed winners in the toy group, starting first with the Athen Pitcher. The Bichon Frise. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. The Long Coat Chihuahua. The Smooth Coat Chihuahua. The Chinese Crested Dog. The Coat on the Toulier. And the English Toy Terrier. The Griffon Bruxellois. And the Havanese. Followed by the Italian Greyhound. And the Japanese Chin. Now the King Charles Spaniel. Followed by the Lao Chin. Now we have the Miniature Pigeon. And the Papillon. Followed by the Pomeranian. And the Pug. Then we have the Yorkshire Terrier, and finally the Maltese. <laughs> the toy dogs were bred primarily as companion animals. The miniaturization of existing breeds, often a gift given to the lady or children of the house as a companion dog. The diminutive size and winsome expressions of toy dogs illustrate the main functions of this group, to embody sheer delight. However, do not be fooled by their tiny stature, as for what these breeds lack in height, they more than make up for in character. first exhibit to be assessed is the Athen Pincher. This one is a dog, number 32, who was awarded best of breed by Ms. J. Waldron for an entry of 47. The literal translation of this German breed's name is Monkey Terrier, arising out of his captivating monkey-like expression and impish charm. Dating back to about the 17th century, the breed was also known as the Black Devil. Originally used on farms as ratters, they were bred smaller to prevent mice from overrunning the boudoirs of their mistresses. Best of breed, Athen Pincher, number 32. Bichon Frise were judged today by Lindsay Pemberton. She attracted an entry of 16 and gave best of breed to this dog, number 58. The Bichon Frise appeared in the 13th century as a descendant from the Water Spaniel. Traded by Spanish sailors and transported from continent to continent, the breed eventually became a favourite of those in the 16th century French royal courts. The breed was also favoured by the painters of the Spanish school, who often included the breed in their works.
That's the Bijon Frise, number 58. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels were judged by Alexandra Bubb. Best of breed from an entry of 138 was this dog, number 114. For centuries, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, a namesake of Charles II, has been recorded in paintings and tapestries together with their aristocratic families. It is obvious from these works of art that Cavaliers were a luxury item and lived the easy life as house pets. Though used successfully for shooting small game, the Cavalier's true purpose has always been that of companion. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, number 114. Next we have the first of two varieties of Chihuahua, this one being the long coat. This dog was declared best of breed by Fiona Valentine from an entry of 92. The Chihuahua's history is shrouded in mystery with some suggesting the breed originated in China. Others, however, believe he descends from the fat fox, a very small animal with big eyes and ears, which could explain the tiny frame, luminous eyes and large ears on the breed today. The best of breed winning long coat chihuahua number 203. Smooth coat chihuahua were judged by Gene Wallhead. There was an entry of 79, and this dog emerges best of breed number 386. Sorry, 301. Chihuahua is the smallest breed of dog in the world, aptly described as cheeky and with a saucy expression. The breed derives its name from the Mexican state of Chihuahua, where the earliest specimens of the breed were found. It is believed that they were used in religious ceremonies and were pets to the upper class. Smooko Chihuahua 301. Luis Pinto Teixeira was our judge for Chinese crested, and he found his best of breed winner in this bitch, number 386, from an entry of 60. While it is difficult to pinpoint their origin, it is said that these dogs were introduced to China by returning mariners and were later owned by families of the Han Dynasty. The Chinese crested were developed as guardians of the treasure houses and, in a larger, heavier form, as hunting dogs.
the best of breed being Chinese crested, number 386. Now we come to the best of breed winning Coton de Tullier. This is the bitch, number 427, who took top honours today under Stephen Randall Goodwin. There was an entry of 14. The Coton de Tullier, also known as the Royal Dog of Madagascar, was first recognised in 1990, but he has existed in his native Madagascar, particularly on the island of Tula, for several hundred years. Best of breed winning coat on the number 427. English Toy Terriers drew an entry of 12 today for Judge Louis Pinto Tessera, and Louis awarded best of breed to the dog, number 432. Oh, we're moving along. <laughs> this is the oldest of Britain's native toy breeds. Before 1960, it was known as the miniature black and tan terrier but devotees felt that this name was one that any terrier type in black and tan could utilise, so the name was duly changed and improved to the English Toy Terrier. The English Toy Terrier, number 432. Sue Pocock officiated as judge for Griffin and Broussolois. There was an entry of 29, and Best of Breed was awarded to this bitch, number 467. At one time, known as the Belgian street urchin, this breed originated in Belgium and has traces of the Affenpinscher, which we saw earlier in its ancestry. A variety of this little dog appeared in a painting by the Flemish artist Jan van Eyck as long ago as 1434, and the breed was already standard in type by the 1600s. Griffon Broussoir, number 467. by Miss D. Dennis. The Habanese is the national dog of Cuba, where he is known as the Habanero. It is thought that these dogs reached Cuba, where they were the playthings of the wealthy by either Spanish colonists or Italian traders.
for Havanese, number 478. The Toy Breeders Group will be judged in rings 5 and 6. That's rings 5 and 6 for the Toy Breeders Group, please. Italian Greyhounds were judged by Michael Pullen. And from entry of 39, Michael found his best of breed winner in this dog, number 528. This graceful, racy little dog claims a heritage dating back to the days of Pompeii, from where he found his way to Britain in the 17th century. Evidence that small hounds of this type existed can be found in the ancient tombs of Egypt, but it was in the Italy of the Romans that the Italian greyhound was bred to perfection. This is a further call for all best of breed winners in the hound group. If you could gather by the collecting room, please, that's all best of breed winners in the hound group to the collecting room, please. The Italian Greyhound, number 528. There was an entry of 51 Japanese chins for Judge Martin Freeman. This is his best of breed winner, the bitch, number 547. Japanese chins' origin and development in its native Far East is wrapped in royalty and adoration. They were bred for the sole purpose of accompanying the ladies of the Imperial Palace and warming the laps of aristocracy. There are illustrations on ancient pottery and embroidery that are centuries old, and evidence suggests that one could not purchase a chin. They were kept in the hands of the nobility and frequently given as gifts of esteem to diplomats and to foreigners who rendered some outstanding service to Japan. This dog is thus called because the breed was a great favourite of King Charles II. In some countries, he is known as the English Toy Spaniel, although authorities tend to agree that the breed originated in the Far East before appearing in England. Best of breed, King Charles Spaniel, number 617. Sorry. Our next breed is the Lauchen, represented here by the dog, number 637. He was awarded best of breed by Graham Merritt, an entry of 13. The Lauchen, whose name translated from German literally means lion dog, has existed for at least 400 years. It is thought the breed originated as a companion breed in pre-Renaissance Europe, likely in Germany or the Mediterranean, where ladies of the court groomed it in the likeness of a little lion. They were also popular as foot warmers and comforters.
is the latch on number 637. Miniature pinch is the judge today by Romy Durgens from the Netherlands. From an entry of 32, he selected this dog, number 647, as best of breed. Described by some as the king of the toys, the miniature pincher was developed in Germany from the larger, smoother coated variety for over 100 years, becoming the breed that we know it around 1915. The breed is reported to also include the Dachshund and the Italian Greyhound among its ancestors and began to make his mark in the United Kingdom after the Second World War. Give me the nod, The miniature pincher number six four seven. There was an entry of ninety eight at the for Judge Ken Fulton. This dog top breed number six seven six. Papillon, which used to only have large, drooping ears, were known in the 16th and 17th centuries as dwarf spaniels and were often depicted on the laps of French and Spanish noblewomen. Over time, an erectile type, fringed as to resemble the wings of a butterfly, was developed and was attributed with the name Papillon, meaning butterfly in French. That's the Vesabri Papillon number 676. <laughs> Zena Thorne Andrews judged an entry of 82 Pomeranian. Zena found her best of breed winner in the dog number 801. Though Britain is listed as a country of development of the Pomeranian, he is a spitz type dog descended from the much larger sled holding dogs of the Arctic. He was bred from the German Spitz before becoming known in the UK in 1870. In 1890, the breed obtained the Royal Seal of Approval and increased popularity when it entered the kennels of Queen Victoria. It's the Pomeranian number 801. Pugs were judged by Baz Bosch, who from an entry of 131 selected this dog number 961 as best of breed. 
certain amount of speculation has taken place regarding the origin of this breed, which would seem to have come from the Orient. His home country is listed as China, where snub-nosed dogs have always been in favour. He found his way to Europe with traders of the Dutch East India Company, and as far back as the 1500s was being admired in the Netherlands. Best breed winning pug, number 961. There was an entry of 25 Yorkshire Terriers for Mrs. D. Rich, and from that number, we have before us the bitch, number 985. Yorkshire Terrier comes from the same area as the Airedale Terrier and was first seen around the 1850s. The old black and tan terrier is behind the Yorkshire, together with other breeds such as the Maltese and the Sky Terrier. The current name was accepted in 1870. Yorkshire Terrier, number 985. And finally, from the Any Variety Not Separately Classified, we have Gavin Robertson's choice appearing in the group. Gavin awarded this Maltese, the dog, number 1912, top honours today. The Maltese was once known as the ancient dog of Malta. But that is where they were first recognised and how they received their name. The breed has been an aristocrat of the canine world for over 28 centuries, owned by royalty all over the globe. Even as far back as the 1500s, they were claimed to be sold for huge sums of money. And while other companion dogs such as the Pomeranian have been bred down from larger sizes, the first Maltese were the same size as the dogs we see today.
have the Adam Pincher, the Michel Frise, the Long Coach Chihuahua, and the Smooth Coach Chihuahua, the Chinese Crested. The Havanese, the Italian Greyhound, the Japanese Chin, the Laotian, the Papillon, and the Pomeranian. Also the Maltese. We have a large round of applause for our best of breed winners leaving the ring, please. Congratulations on making this one. And now Mr. Callie will let her shortlist have an opportunity to shine again. Please do show your appreciation. First we have the Affen Pincher. Number 32. Bichon Frise, number 58. Chinese crested number three eight six. I have a need number four seven eight. The Japanese chin, number five, four, seven. Seven six.
completing the shortlist, the Maltese, number 1912. It's the Maltese, number 1912. <laughs> Taking the group two spot. It's the Long Coach Chihuahua, number 203. Japanese chin number 547. And completing the group, it's the smooth coach of our number 301. A big hand for our shortlisted dogs, please, as they exit the room. Congratulations. Starting off the group one winner, the Maltese. Followed by the long coach of the Japanese chin, and the smooth coach of 